try, catch, and throw. Trying and catching is similar to an if-else statement, but what a try-catch statement looks for is an error. The try section is the code that will run if there are no errors, and the catch section has the code that will run if there was an error in the try section. This is extremely useful. Why? Because this allows us to prevent errors from popping up and annoying the viewer on our website, who will probably leave if there is an error. So this is what it looks like. We have try, curly bracket, and then we have our code here. What we wrote was alert with two L's, so we purposely misspelled it. And then we have catch, parentheses, with E inside of it. And E just stands for error. Alternatively, you could just write error, and then in here instead of E, you just write error. But anyways, your first parameter here in the catch statement is the variable that you're going to use to display your error where here we have e is equal to this error occurred new line conjugated e for error and then we wrote alert e so if we try the script let's see what happens this error occurred reference error alert is not defined so you notice how a l l e r t is not defined let's spell it the exact same way as it is in here in our try section because this is not defined, this produces an error, so JavaScript is going to then run this code. The reason the catch e code ran is because the alert is not a function, and that's alert with two L's. And in this case, we typed alert wrong. Again, that's alert with two L's. To fix this, we could write a function called alert, which would then define it. Because the function alert with two L's was not defined when it was called, it produced an error. JavaScript caught this and said, there was an error, run the other code instead. Sort of how an if-else statement works. Sort of. If something is true, then it's going to run. Otherwise, it's going to run the else code. If there are no errors, it's going to run your try. Otherwise, it's going to run your catch. This is best used with code that could produce an error or if you're trying to debug and perfect your code so that there are no errors. With try-catch, there are also exceptions. Throw. Throw is how you create an exception in a try-catch statement. This isn't as easy as it seems though. This part is not like the else if statement at all. Throw is used mostly to catch certain areas and direct the program flow the way that you want. If the user gets error A, then direct program flow down path Z. If the user gets error B, then direct the program flow down path Y. This example will get the length of the input that you type and direct you by alerting the different answers. So looking at the script, we have variable name is equal to prompt, enter your name. Then we have a try statement here. We have variable lang, and we just wrote lang for length, and that's name.length. If the length is greater than five, throw long name. Else if length is less than five, throw short name. Otherwise, if length is equal to five, then throw five letter name. So in every scenario here, no matter what you type for this, you're going to throw an error. And what you do is you throw this error at the catcher. The catcher is then going to deal with this error in this variable here, which is E. So when we run the script, this is what happens. Enter your name. If I wrote Caleb, which is a five letter name, it should throw the five letter name error at me five letter name which matches right here and it did now what if I use the name George it throws long name at me because George is longer than five characters long now I wrote you the script to show you how you can direct the flow of your program so what we did is we tried it we gave it if else if and an else statement we threw three different errors at it and when we throw it we throw it at the catcher Anytime there's an error that's thrown, we, which we also call an exception, is going to it's going to execute the catch code. And yes, although JavaScript does read this, if you do throw an error at it or an exception, or there is an error in it, then it's going to run the catch. It's going to read and run this, and just read this and not execute anything. To sum this up, 
Try catch is for trying your code and running it if there are no errors. If there are errors, we can use exceptions by throwing them at the catcher to control how the error is handled. Now some terminology real quick. Try. When you test a block of code for errors, the block of code will run if there are no errors in it. Catch. The code to be executed when the try block has an error, and catch is used for controlling errors. Throw. Defines a custom error name so that you can access it in the catch section. And exception. Exception is an exceptional event. Something that disrupts regular program flow. So basically you try your code and inside your try you can throw an exception at the catcher. That's a good way to remember it.